Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go over how to make this uh, planner cart pocket for your Hobonichi Weeks. These are the planner cart sticker kits from Frank Hart Chu. She has these in a variety of colors. Um, this one is sort of a mint green. Um, she also has some themed ones like this Disney one, um, sort of a galaxy one, this unicorn one that I did previously, and she also just came out with some um, Harry Potter version ones and a few others so definitely check out her shop these are physical stickers you can order from her Etsy shop and then when they come in um, it comes as a kit you could use on a page but you could also use this as sort of a reusable version in your week so I will show you um, how I created this so you can make it for your planner the items that you're going to need to uh, make this is a laminator um, I use one that's um, just a very basic one from Amazon. There are other ones that are, you know, better or more expensive, but if you're just starting out, it's a good option to use. Um, you're going to need some laminating sheets. These are by Scotch. You can get them pretty much anywhere, Target, Staples, Amazon even, um, just to start out with. Um, another thing you can use is a paper trimmer. Or scissors so paper trimmers like this this is by Fiskars just to trim everything if you don't have a trimmer you can use scissors um, and then some other options you can use like on mine I have a vinyl header here so this is one here if you don't have one you can also use um, some labels these are from simply gilded these would go up the top um, or you could just do a plain insert with no header so I'll show you how to do that um, I also am using sticker pockets for the back. I'll show you how to use those. So these are just um, from Amazon. These are from Target. Um, I think they have them more in stock now because it's back to school. It's in the Target dollar spot area. Um, so you can uh, pick some of those up. And then um, an X-Acto knife to cut into the planner once we have it laminated. Um, a corner rounder or scissors for the top if you use a vinyl header. And then I'll show you some other things um, as we go along. So um, first what we'll do is we will cut our uh, pieces of laminate toward uh, for the pocket. So um, today I think I'm gonna use this one here, this mint one. Okay, so if you look at the planner here, the little pocket, this slides onto your page. So on the back here, it's clear. If you take it off, what we're creating is a pocket to slip on and off your page. So what you wanna do first is measure the pages. Um, I'm no expert at measuring, um, but basically the, the measurements that I'm using are three and a half inches wide by seven and three eighths in height. And the reason why it's a little higher is because you need just a little bit of room for the pocket to slip on and off. If you made it the exact measurements, it's gonna be a really tight fit. You also don't wanna make it too big because it might sag or come down. Um, so you don't want it moving too much. These are the measurements that worked for me, um, but definitely um, you know, measure before you cut. Measure you know, twice, cut once. That's the old carpenter's uh, rule of thumb. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your laminating sheet, it looks like this. You're going to take your paper trimmer and then you're going to put it in here. I sometimes, because they come sort of rounded at the edge here, I just trim that section off just a little bit. And then on here too, on the other side, trim off the edge. So you're working with some squared off corners to start your cutting. So I'm going to cut wide first, so I'm going to go three and a half inches. Again, if you don't have um, a paper trimmer, just use scissors and a ruler, obviously. <laughs> and 
and then this one has an extending arm for more measurements and then I'm gonna go um, 7 and um, 3 eighths so that's about here so it's just the actual measurement I believe is 7.25 for the height so this is just a little taller so now we have our laminate sheet So what we're going to do now is apply the vinyl header to the sheet. So I'm going to take out this uh, rotary mat or cutting mat just because sometimes the lines are helpful um, when you put down the laminating sheet. So when you get your sheet, typically if you were to laminate something on a full page, you would open it up and you would stick in the item you're laminating run it through the laminator and then it, it sticks. But because we don't want the inside to stick, we want it to be a pocket, you're gonna separate the pieces and then you'll see that there's a glossy side and a matte side. What you're gonna wanna do is go glossy to glossy. So they slip like this because you don't want them sticking in the laminator. So these are now glossy to glossy. So we're gonna get another plain laminating sheet, a full sheet, put it down on your uh, cutting mat, or if you don't have a cutting mat, you can use any lined paper, loose leaf paper, um, just something that'll kind of give you some guidelines to work by. All right, so I'm gonna use some washi tape just to stick to the top so it doesn't slip. This is, you might want to spare your Simply Gilded for this if you have any, you know, washi tape you don't really use. Um, you can put there, um, you don't, you know, try to stay away from regular tape just because you don't want any residue to stick on it, on the laminating sheets, because that will come through. Secure the bottom. Okay. So now we have our two smaller sheets. Remember, you want to go glossy to glossy. This is for any project you're going to make. If you want to, you can make it for any size planner that you have. Um, the trick for laminating a pocket is always glossy to glossy. And then they won't stick. So you want to line them up. And because it's on the glossy side, it's going to be a little slippery. So just line it up a little. Try to get the edges to meet. So they're even. Oops, see, it's kind of sticky. Take your time. There's no rush on this because you want it to be um, an accurate cut. Okay. All right. And again, I'm going to take some washi tape. Oop. Some washi tape and just um, secure the pieces together while I'm applying the vinyl header. Okay, this way it's less of a slip. So again, if you don't have a vinyl header or uh, labels to use, um, you could just um, run it through the laminator, obviously you don't put this on, run it through the laminator like that and um, you can follow the cutting process, which I'll show you after it's laminated. So this is just a vinyl header that I made on my um, silhouette. It's a scalped border that says this week with a couple of you know hearts and stars on it. Um, if you don't have a vinyl header, you could um, use some labels like I uh, you know showed you earlier. You could either put them at the top or you can run them down the side, uh, whatever you prefer uh, for your planner. Um, so if you haven't used vinyl before or um, you know, put vinyl to your planner, when you, when you make it, or if you, there are so many shops now that sell vinyl that you can make and do it this at, at home, um, it comes with a transfer tape top, and on the back is where it was, you know, the sticker, that the vinyl backing from when it was made. So what you're gonna wanna do is apply some pressure. You can get a scraper, you can use an old <clears throat> credit card or gift card, store card, things like that, and you just wanna apply pressure to the back because you want the vinyl to stick to the transfer tape that's on the front. So it's gonna look like this. 
You want to take your time when taking off the backing so that you don't um, miss any letters, especially if you have, you know, an I or a J, lowercase, that has a dot over it. You don't want um, to lose that little dot. So when you take off the backing, it'll look like this. So now it's completely clear, like that. And now we're going to apply it to the top of the piece here. So you want to try to have the top of this scalped border meet the top of the laminate, the laminate sheets here. So again, take your time. There's no rush. And you place that down. Try to keep it centered. And just make sure that sticks. So now, like we did putting the vinyl onto the transfer tape, we want to now take the transfer tape off. So with steady pressure, you just want to stick this down so that the vinyl now sticks to the laminate. Okay, and now you're going to take off the top layer. Again, go very slow because you don't want to um, you know, rip the vinyl or any of the pieces. Sometimes it takes a minute to get started. All right. So again, just go very slow. Take that off, and there you go. If you didn't want to create a pocket, say if you had some vinyl headers that you purchased from a shop or that you made at home on your Silhouette or Cricut, um, all you would do is instead of, you know, having laminated sheets, you would just stick the vinyl right down to this part of the laminate, the larger part, run it through your laminator, and then cut it to size once it's done and then punch it for your planner or however you intend on using it. So for this exercise though, we're making a pocket. So as you see, the header is here and now we're going to run it through the laminator. So you be sure to remove these pieces that held it down for us. And then one other thing you want to check for is just any debris that can get into these sheets because you know sometimes there's dust floating around or you know pieces of paper or particles so you want to make sure that your laminating sheets are completely clean so that when it runs through that doesn't come out on the sheet because it's very frustrating when it does. Okay, so when you run it through your laminator, just make sure your laminator has been heating up for a while so it's nice and hot. Um, I use a laminator that um, you go in straight, so some of them come where it's sort of a slant down this way and you feed it in like this and it comes out like that. I prefer the straight one um, just because it, for me it's worked better going that way, but whatever you have you prefer. Okay, so run this through your laminator. And this is what it should look like once it's done. Okay, so now we're going to trim it down to make a pocket for our weeks. Here again is my paper trimmer. When you trim it down, you want to, if you see here, it might be hard to see on camera, but there's a line where the sheets, you know, uh, come together, and then there's an outer line here where the seal has been made by the laminator. So you want to be sure not to cut into this part if you want to create a pocket that way. This is a general rule for anything in your planner if you're making a pocket, if you're making, um, you know, those Hobonichi um, sticker. Uh, pockets are very popular now. You just laminate over paper, so, but you don't want to cut this because then it will lose the integrity. That's if you want it as a pocket. So when you put it through here, you're going to sort of eyeball where that piece is and then cut a little bit away from it. You don't want to go too far because you'll have you know extra overhang but you don't want to go too close if you don't want to cut into the laminate. So that's sort of what it looks like trimmed. Same thing on the bottom especially because you want to keep it secure and tight.
then we'll do the top. So when you do the top, if you have a header, you just want to cut above where the, um, you know, the vinyl stops. Give yourself a little room. Now on the left side, this is the side that's going to go onto the page. So we're gonna to wanna to cut this side completely down. So you can use the, um, the header as a, as a guide. So you'll run that through. And now you have a pocket. So again, if you follow this, um, you know, process, um, not only for your Hobonichi, but any of your planners, if you want to make a pocket, you always just measure the size of the page of the or the inserts for your planner, um, and then you put the laminating sheets glossy to glossy, run it through your laminator, and then you have a pocket. You can also do a top pocket. So say if we um, had this on a different size planner where you wanted to make a sticker pocket or a dashboard um, for your TN or for your rings planner, you could either still cut along the side, although you would go on the right, or you can trim the top because you just want to trim that second layer so that you can make a pocket to put things in. But for this one, we're doing it to the left to make a pocket. When you do laminate, um, the edges of the laminating sheets can be very sharp. Um, See, so it kind of comes to a point here. So all I do is I take a pair of scissors and you just want to make a tiny cut at the edge, like that. Same thing on the other side without cutting into the bottom laminate because you don't want to um, mess up this, the, uh, the seal. For the top, you can either fussy cut around the letters. So these letters are kind of thin. There's some deco here. So fussy cut meaning you can, you know, cut out every single piece. Depending on how you know you use your planner, if you're kind of rough with it, you might want to, um, you know, use thicker letters. Or um, what I do is I keep this sealed, and then because we have more space up here, I'll use a corner rounder and round the corners like this. My Hobonichi is in um, my uh, Sicily cover from Aura Estelle, so it's on a chain, it's on the go with me. So this, keeping it like this, helps it to keep the integrity of the letters, especially because these are thin. Um, you don't want to use the corner rounder for the bottom here because you're going to cut into this seal, which will, um, you know, damage this, and it can also, um, you know, kind of mess up the Hobonichi Weeks pages as you pull it in and out. So those are just a few tips that worked for me. Um, if you did this, say, with the labels like we mentioned earlier, or you know any other stickers that you may have, um, you can fussy cut around that because it's a little more sturdy. And here's an example of you know what it would look like. This was a dashboard I made from two little bees and simply gilded for the Fourth of July. So these are you know fussy cut and they're you know more durable. So whatever your preference is. Okay, so we have our insert. Let's just make sure that it fits well on the planner. And then just let me get these little scraps out of the way. It's going to be a mess over here once we're done. <laughs> okay, so let me go to a blank page. Okay, so here, this is what it'll look like without the cart on it. So you just slide it into your page. And there we go. So we have the insert that you can use. Another thing, so say if you have tabs on your planner, so mine for example has uh, monthly tabs, what you can do where I said don't cut the side is you can cut the side so that it's an open pocket. So it'll only be sealed from the top to the bottom. Um, if you don't want to cut the side because you know you, you only really have the tabs um, you know really one time a month whatever month you're working on 
you can put it in like that. Just be, you know, very gentle when you're pulling in the pages because the pages are delicate. And then you'll just have, it won't go flush to the seam. You'll have a little extra room. So just keep that in mind. Whatever your preference is, that's another option for you to do. But always just maintain the integrity of the bottom and the top. Okay, so now the fun part, we are going to put on the planner card. So I'm going to take out my little rotary mat again. Make it straight for you guys. <laughs> okay, and then um, we are going to put on the planner card. So again, use some of the washi that you had earlier just to hold it secure. Okay, so now we have the planner card from Frank Arts U. So these are um, a permanent sticker. They're not removable. So when you put it down, you want to go nice and slow so that it's not crooked or there's any you know bumps in the cart. So you can always have some undo on hand because mistakes happen. We're humans. Um, but take your time. When you peel it off, start from the top or the bottom. and then very slowly remove the cart. Okay, so now we have our cart ready. This is what it looks like. And then here you can, you know, save these for another spread. You can use some samples that you've gotten for, you know, deco or whatever else, but it's always good to reuse um, again in the future. So for this, you're going to want to go to, um, you know, sort of as close to the bottom as possible. I, I like to go from the bottom up, try to, you know, eyeball it and center from the bottom of the page using the the lines below is your guide. Place it down. And then just make sure it's nice and flush. So here we have our cart. Like so. So in order to make the pockets that go inside the cart to look like sort of a real rask cog and put stuff in, you're going to want to cut above these lines. So I'm going to use a uh, see-through ruler just to kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> and I have an X-Acto knife. You can use a slice tool or whatever you use um, to put it in. Before you do that, you want to take just a piece of cardboard or something that has sort of a sturdy surface that's cut to this size, probably about seven inches or so, and insert it inside because you only want to cut the top of the planner cart, you don't want to cut um, the back part because um, that will mess up the back and it could, you know, scratch your pages, you know, once you use it often. So just put something in there that'll kind of absorb the slice of the knife. So starting here, when you go on the cart, you want to go just a little above the white space because you don't want to cut into um, the sticker too much. If you do, you can always trim it after. It's, it's, it's not a big deal, but again, you want to take your time and you don't want to cut into the ruler, which I have a habit of doing. Um, so with steady pressure, I'm going right to left just because I'm a lefty. <laughs> um, with steady pressure, you take your blade and then you just run it through steady hand using the ruler as your guide and run to the edge. Try not to cut the sticker pull and then the same thing again up here go towards the top give yourself a little bit of room
and then with steady pressure there you go okay so now we should have the pocket here so you can start putting things in okay so the next thing that I do is when you put things in, you I added a the bottom of a sticker pocket to sort of catch the items that you're going to be adding to the cart as your deco. Um, so like here I have little pieces of post-its, um, a paper clip, a washi card, which I will show you how to make, um, things like that. But if you see here on the back, there's a pocket that kind of catches everything so that it's not, um, you know, sort of angled out or um, sticking to your planner. So these are um, pockets from Amazon. These are pockets from Target. Um, whatever you have, whatever you can, um, you're going to take it and cut them down to size. So the measurements that I used for this, oh, sorry, I'm just grabbing my trimmer here. The measurements that I used for these sticker pockets are um, three and a quarter inches wide by 0.75 inches high. So just take it here, find three quarter inches or 0.75 inches on your paper trimmer or with your scissors, and then just cut. So this part, you know, you won't use, you'll throw that away. Um, so you'll have this part here which will go into the back so you can stick things in. And then I'm gonna go to three and a quarter inches or 3.25 and cut that part. So this is what it'll look like. You're gonna need two of these because we do have two, um, you know, sort of trays or pockets on our cart. So again, just repeat the process, 0.75 inches. And again, three and a quarter or 3.25 inches. Okay, so now we have our sticker pockets. So now we'll take our cart up, remove the washi, and then open up the pocket, remove the backing from your sticker pocket. And then obviously you wanna make sure that the pocket side is face up. Locate the opening. And then on the first pocket here, just slide it in as close to the edge as you can get it. If it's a little crooked, it's okay. And press down so you can't really see it from the front. In the back, there's our pocket. So that's what's going to sort of hold the things we're putting in together. just repeat the same process on this side. So opening up, open your pocket, and then just slide in. This one's a little trickier just because it's sealed at the bottom. Just give yourself a little more room. You could even use tweezers to hold on to it if you'd like but just try to get it towards as much as the edge as you can and stick it down. So now we have our pockets ready to be stuffed. So the items you can add into your pockets are really up to you. You can add some page flex. Um, here are some by Erin Condren, all different shapes and sizes. Um, you can do die cuts. Um, these are some planner clips from um, the happy planner and they're flat so they'll go you know into the planner uh, not really bulk it up like say a typical um, metal clip um, 
some shorter notes. These are from um, Shine Sticker Studio, Sweet Kawaii Design, and Rose Colored Days. Whatever you prefer. These are, uh, again, from the Happy Planner. And then they have some Happy Planner notes like this. This is from the Miss Maker line, and it has all different sizes. So for this one, I think we'll use um, a few of these. Typically, I put in maybe four to five because you don't want to bulk up your planner. So you don't want to put in a whole stack because a whole stack is, you know, pretty thick. So you just want to put in a few, and you can always refill it. Grab this here. And then you're going to take your pocket stick it right in. So the bottom will meet the bottom edge of the pocket and then it'll stick there. Maybe we'll add a clip in. So you want to put the short part of the clip into this side of the pocket so that it kind of sticks nice and the bottom part goes towards the back. You can add die cut. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. of Pooh, because Pooh is my favorite. And just slide that in. So again, this is, you know, completely customizable customizable for you. Um, we'll put some of these in. Some Shine Sticker Studio. Again, just finding that pocket in the back. Which I missed. <laughs> so it sticks in nice. Another clip. And then if you saw on my previous one, I had a washi card in here. Looks like this. So all I did for this was I took a piece of um, jelly that I had laminated. Oop, get you on camera here, might be a little tough to see. So this is just laminated jelly. And I took some Simply Gilded 5 millimeter washi. So here's some of the um, pastel colors. Um, the Happy Planner also has really thin washi. You want to kind of keep it thin because it is a mini version. Anything thicker will take up more space. The measurements on this are 0.75 or 3 quarter inches wide by 1.75 or 1 and 3 quarter inches high. The reason that is is because when it goes into the cart, you do want to see it kind of sticking out. So it'll look like that. So you would just take the washi. You can go maybe just once or twice around. Um, if you wanted to make it a useful size, what you could do is go into your weeks and either measure the lines here, the lines here, or here, whatever you would use it for, maybe dividers or something, and then just measure that and wrap it around the washi card so it could become a useful washi card. But for mine, it will just be um, decorative for this reason. So what it would look like after it's done. I fit about five on here, um, and then on the bottom there's just a little bit of extra space because you're not gonna see it at the bottom. And then you just put that right in here. You can also take um, a little sticker, maybe a character sticker. This is a sticker flake. Um, this is a custom that uh, the Coffee Monsters co-made for me. This is me. Um, but I had cut them on my silhouette too deep, so now I have a bunch of these sticker flakes. <laughs> but it would be perfect to sort of be like a magnet on my planner card. So you can put that like here. And then you can take maybe some little shape sticker notes, like these little heart ones would be nice. Just grab a few of those. And then as you use them and go through them, you just go back to your original pack and refill. You can put them here, so it's sort of like a magnet, but again, they're usable sticky notes. So these are just some examples of what you could put into your cart. Um, again, you keep it completely up to you. Another option that I did because um, when you're taking it on and off of your planner, the items in the back might scratch or get stuck to the page. So I made um, this insert. This is just um, glitter that I laminated and literally you take a, a clean laminated sheet, put in some glitter, put in some flat sequins, run it through your laminator so it puts it all together and then you cut it to size. So the reason being is when you have the back, 
the pieces might get stuck on your planner. So this just gives another little layer of protection for the items in the cart and for your planner, but it also gives it a nice little background. So for example, we have um, just some blank acetate if you don't want a background. If you don't have acetate, you could just laminate a blank laminating sheet. Again, this is the um, glitter that you can just make um, in your laminator. Another option is to laminate tool. This is like one of my new favorite things to do in my planners. It is literally um, decorative tool. So the tool comes, you know, really soft and floppy. Um, these have stars, these have hearts. So you cut it down to size, you put it in your laminator sheet, run it through the laminator, and then you trim it down so that you have um, a background now. So you can use that. Um, or the other thing you could use, like what I made my washi card out of, is a clear jelly sheet. So if you run the jelly through the laminator, it makes it nice and sturdy instead of sort of floppy. So you can put that in as well. So there's just some options that you could use. I think for this one, I'll go with the hearts. It's got like a soft pink background and you're gonna put that right in here. So just take your time and put it in. You can always trim off any excess that you have and this is what your planner cart looks like. Um, one other thing that I added to my um, first planner cart was a charm on top. This is from the Fox and Pip. All you would do is take a, um, you know, a, a pin sharp point or an awl, just make a little hole in the top and then add this in here. So that will sit in your cart depending on um, how you use your planner. So this is what our new cart looks like in the planner. And you can use this again and again, week to week. You could always change out the contents. You can always change out the deco. Um, if you feel like the items are slipping around too much, you could always use a little bit of the adhesive, you know, removable adhesive tape to kind of stick them down to give it a little more sturdiness. But it goes in and out of the planner nice. And because we used just a few things, it keeps it relatively flat. Although my Hobonichi is pretty chunky <laughs> with all the stickers. So, another option you can do, keeping with the theme of laminating, is to make a top corner pocket. Again, you would just take glossy to glossy, you could put a header on. This I made on my, um, my silhouette. You could do something like this and then just cut it. But anything you put glossy to glossy, you can make all different shapes. Um, you can also add a charm like I did here for my notes. And then you just put it on your top corner. You can make it more squared off if you wanted to, so it could just be like that. Um, and then another thing I did was to make a two pocket version. So this I did a border in vinyl and I made it in two pieces. So it opens up like a book. So here I have some sticky notes. Um, and here I put an adhesive pocket some die cuts, a uh, washi card. Um, so it's just another thing you could use to sort of give it another layer in your planner um, for more deco. And it, you know, it would be a little thicker than your first one, but you know, not too bad. And the way you do this is you just take your sheet of laminate again. Instead of doing one piece, you would do glossy to glossy pieces like this. So it would be glossy, glossy, this. I'm just showing you this as an example. I'm not going to run it through, but. And then you would add in your header if you have it at the top, or some seals like we showed earlier that in and then you would just put them together with a little bit of space in between because this is where you're going to have your fold. So if you see here, 
the fold comes like this. You can fold it this way, you can always fold it back, and you can follow this, you know, with any size planner that you have. I've made these for my other size planners, um, and it's a great little feature to have. I did a Christmas one that was um, a tri-fold version, um, so you can really, as long as you follow the principle of, you know, going glossy to glossy with your laminate and following those steps, you can make anything, any size, um, and it's a lot of fun. So you would go like this, laminate it, and then just follow the steps like we did earlier. Just be sure not to trim this part because that's where the fold is going to be. So just another idea. The last thing I did um, that's a little different is I made one for a Fobo Nietzsche or Happy Nietzsche. Um, I don't use this as a Fobonichi because I use a, a Hobonichi I use this for notes, but what I did was I made um, some page markers for it here. So all it is is, again, I did a, a vinyl border from my silhouette, and you just add it right on top. So again, just follow, follow the procedures for the vinyl, uh, for the laminating pocket. You could do it any size. I also did one with a card on it. So same thing, um, follow the measurements. You just measure the page for your Hobonichi or Fobonichi, sorry, Happy Nichi or Fobonichi. And then sort of like the bonus, because the Happy Nichis are higher uh, in height, they have, um, you know, more height on them, you can actually add more stickers up front. So you have your cart here, you put all your stuff in it that you want, and then you can add some more sticky notes and tabs, so you do actually get some bonus room on here. And then again, you take it out like that. I also added the insert here, just to protect the pages. So definitely some options um, you can make really for any size planner that you have. Um, here and you can use it week to week okay so those are um, some of the options that we have for our uh, Hobonichi planner so again here is the one that we made today with all of our goodies inside here's the one I made last time Here's our Happy Nietzsche, or Fobo Nietzsche, <laughs> whatever you prefer. Here's our Fobo Nietzsche. And then here again, I'll take this off for you. And then we have our double cart. So, some fun options to do. Again, you can add charms, you can do it with or without the vinyl headers. Um, you just make it completely customizable to your likes and your needs. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. You can also uh, reach me uh, on Instagram at xoelisaplansnyc. I thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I look forward to see what you guys create. Have a great day. Bye.